Okay, so blogging. Um, this short screencast will go through how to make a blog entry in our classroom environment. I'm going to presume you're here on the home page for kindergarten part one the, in the spring. You can see this center column has some news postings that I'll periodically post to here. And the calendar. And this is me, Jonathan. Hi. And across here are buttons that help us navigate different areas of our classroom. So the content area contains the readings and the tasks over the next few weeks and the discussions area and the Dropbox area are where you'll post your responses to those tasks but we're interested in blogging today so we can use this blog tool and you can see it takes me to my blog that I've been practicing for this video so let's go ahead and make an entry I'm going to use the add entry button, give my blog a title, and write something in here. And that's it, I'm ready to post my work. So, but before I click save, I'm going to make sure my entry is public so that people can read it and that I, you allow comments so people can converse with you and you can have a back and forth going. So I click save. Now when I click my entry list, you can see this is my blog here. Now to read people's blogs, we go to the class list. And here you can see everyone in our section of the course. The little green dots just indicate that they're online at the moment. So let's read someone's blog. I know Daniela has written hers, so I'm going to click the blogging icon. This is Daniela's blog. She's Daniela, an occasional teacher from TCDSB, and has taken special ed part one director. If you wanted to make a comment, you could click add comment and have a conversation. An interesting button to use is this add Daniela to your blog watch. So if I click that, and I now go to my blog watch, I'll be following Daniela is a one-stop place and you can see that I've added other people to my blog watch. These are students, participants from another course. The blog can be useful if you want to ask questions or you want to share resources that might not be directly relevant to the section of the course we're currently working on. So I'd, I'd encourage trying it out and maybe following a few people and seeing if blogging in this course works for you. As ever, if you um, have any questions, just email me and I'll do my best to help.